out with Ricky and I play guitar. I'm Jim and I play drums. I'm Reed, I sing and play guitar. We're three-fifths of We Are The Union. This is our Van Gordy. Yeah, true. It used to be called Clifford. From the guys we brought it off of. They had a whole bunch of kids and they named it Clifford, which is painted on here. But uh, we're not seven and we like hockey. So we changed it to Gordy in honor of Mr. Hockey. We've got the old English D on the front. Yep. Jim really likes his, uh, his Arizona. The best part about that is we really we didn't even plan that. That just fell out. Yeah, this is the van. Uh, we bought it maybe like a couple months ago, like yeah. two months ago. Brand new. Yeah, it was brand new. Only had like fifty thousand miles on it. We got it for about five grand or like a little over five grand. It's a two thousand one. Yeah, Dodge thirty five hundred. It's pretty pretty awesome. Pretty much been sitting in a driveway for ten years. Yeah. It's got a V eight engine. Um, good. Uh, they have a V8 engine when you're like pulling a trailer because we had a V6 in our other van. It had, like just wrecked the, uh, the transmission and the engine. There. Thousands of dollars later, we finally fix it up and then hit a moose in Canada and totaled it. Thousands more dollars later. Here Round we are. two. Oddly enough, we bought the same kind of van, just bigger and a better engine. This one's a 15 passenger though. We used to only have eight seats before, so this is luxury. We try to roll around with this too. Sometimes we gotta park in like some shady areas. So. Put on the wheel, hit somebody with it, whatever you want to do. This is our bass player, Brandon. What's going on? Am I late? Yes. Did you play already? No. <laughs> so this would be the passenger side. As you can see, the boys made a stop at Wetzel's Pretzels and Arby's on the way over. Obviously, of course. Uh, we got a great... Uh, by great, I mean horrible stereo system. Uh, oh, the most important part of the entire van. It's not mounted yet. I don't know why we haven't mounted it, mounted it. but this is the most important feature of our entire van. This is everything we stand for. Sucking gas and hauling ass. Got a good Freedom air freshener. Go with our Thanks a lot. Freedom gun. Second most important thing is this. We picked this up at Harvest of Hope Festival in Florida, and we just saw it. Someone left it, and you know. It's a Freedom gun. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, if you want to take a look inside, we got uh, we got four benches. Like in our last one, we only had two, and it was like it was cool, like it was perfect. But with this one, we kind of wanted to upgrade it, so that way on like long drives, sometimes we have like drives that are over like 14 hours, and so it's good to have like four benches so everybody can like sleep and get a good night's rest. Yeah, we so. pretty much if we don't have a merch person with us, even if we have two horns, everybody has like their own seat. Like the worst seat in the house becomes like shotgun, which is still pretty awesome. Uh, and even when we have a merch guy with us, still everybody but two people have their own bench pretty much to sleep on. It's pretty nice. Um, I'm stoked on it. Yeah, like, like Weber was saying, our last van was not uh, not quite as friendly to the overnight drive, so. We always have some assorted goodies. Like in here we have oh, wow. <laughs> multiple Segas, <laughs> oh, you know, just in case. We don't have a TV for him yet. That's on the, I think that's on the wish list. Another good thing to have is like a first aid kit in case it's like uh, anything happens, you know, like shit happens on the road, so it's good to be prepared. Reading material. Old symbol or two. Why is that still in there? Somebody wanted it. Somebody so, wanted it? Alright. Yeah. Cool. The bumper was a little messed up when we bought it, but it's not really a big deal. Like sometimes when you open it, you just gotta kind of, kind of like lift it up. But uh, that's the back. We got a grilling kit. We yeah, we really try to like bring some awesome grilling stuff. Try to save money and like cook our own food instead of always like eating Taco Bell and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we've got our three major seasonings here. Yep. Kicking chicken. Some more kicking kick chicken. chicken. And Weber brand Chicago steak. Somebody's got to do it. Start setup. We usually have like all of our like. Sometimes we'll have like extra horns or like extra like spare guitars or spare bases. That's pretty much it. Yep. We're, we're hockey sticks. Yes. Like, uh, Which I hate. Clubs. I mean, don't get me wrong. Hockey's great, but there's nothing worse than like when you park on a hill and you open up the trailer and like six hockey sticks shoot out of the trailer into your chest. Really. It's that's that's my least favorite part. I think of bringing the hockey sticks, but it does it does entertain it. Just if like stuff happens on the road, really. Like, we have to like change our oil or just like you know, do like car maintenance. We also have like a maintenance book. It's kind of messed up now, but the showing manual shows you how to do everything in case if something goes wrong with your van. 
um, it has step-by-step -step instructions with like picture diagrams and everything. So this is really useful for like saving money and everything on the road. Yep. But, uh, we're talking about, I don't know if this is ever going to happen, but we're talking about putting the, uh, the old 9 decal. Where was it? Where did you want to do it? Here? This was your baby. No, we were going to do it. Originally, we were going to mount, or you know, original Red Wings logo on the front. Yeah. Now oh, with number nine for Mr. Hockey. But I think we, we should do it. We went with the old English D for now. Like the but, you know, I think winter I think classic the jersey. Course of this tour, I think at some point that's going to go up there. We have to. For now, we just we have marked it, you know, so it knows me. Most of the parts I'm soccer mom. Yeah, we take these everywhere we go. It's our soccer mom film director chair. Oh. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> Something else that's kind of important too, like when, uh, when, we, when we bought the van, it had like a bumper in it. And then, like, we're like, we're pulling the amount of weight that we're pulling, we, uh, we decided that we should get a trailer that just snaps into the U Haul, and they like went under and they attached it to like the main frame. And I think that's pretty important too for like the current vans to make sure you have a proper like, trailer hitch when you're pulling the right amount of weight. Yeah, that, if we would have just tried to go with the bumper hitch, it probably would have broken and we would have lost Yeah, it was only rated at 2,000 pounds, right? Yeah. And our trailer is rated slightly over 2,000 pounds, so yeah. it just it made sense to play it safe. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, best part about the van is the gas mileage. What would you say it is? Nine? Hovers around six. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Six? It's horrible. Uh, but the racing, bad, the racing stripe yeah. kind of makes up for it, the, I think. The racing stripe and the rust? It makes it seem more efficient and fast. It's like the only thing that was really wrong with it. God, it was just a little rough spot. That's just with age, like that just happens, especially Michigan. in Michigan, you especially know. Like, in so yep. overall, I think it's a pretty good day. We got a great tour on it, and uh, last just a long time. Yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for checking out our tour van.